y'all about to let me out. When I was writing this book, right, I was totally excited because it came to me like that. And when books come to me like this, they're absolutely fabulous. So let me tell you a little bit about the characters. Okay, so there are three main characters you want to deal with, and there's a fourth that's really just off the hook, okay? But that's an extra character, and you'll find out about her in the book. Here is the cover of Let Me Out. I love the cover. My husband actually designed the cover. It was actually going to be called something else, but I decided on Let Me Out, so I went in and changed everything. I have another piece I'm going to write, but it's going to be totally different. But this is a horror cover, and I love the cover because it doesn't actually say horror, and that's the thing that I like about it. The most. So first person I'm going to talk about is this girl named Grace. She's always trying to be in it. She's a really, really, really nice girl. Don't get me wrong. However, she's all she doesn't know how to stop, when to stop, when to turn back around. You ever had one of those friends that want to always be involved in something that's big? They aren't really comfortable with their life, so they want to be involved in something big or better than what they believe they already have. So that's her. That's great. That's the girl you want to snatch. She's naive. She's beautiful as ever. And she's a dreamer. And sometimes those dreams can turn into freaking nightmares. Preach. I like Preach, okay? Preach is your homeboy. Preach is Gray's homeboy. And they go way back, all right? Preach is one of the dudes that you want to look out for you 24-7 and he not gonna let anything happen to you. That's Preach. That's what she has in Preach. He's smart, no nonsense, and loyal as ever. Loyal, deep. Then we have our next character, and that's Dunk, okay? Dunk, imagine why I call him Dunk. I'm a b-ball fan. I'm, I love basketball, and so this is a basketball player, Dunk. Dunk is what he goes by. That's his name in the story, and nobody knows his real name but moi. Okay, but um, and no one knows Preacher's real name, by the way. That's not his real name either. Here's Dunk. Dunk, he's a b-ball player. He's a ladies' man, and he's super, super, super laid back. It's all three of these against the world. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, right? Well, this is kind of what happens to Gray, Preach, and Dunk when they enter somewhere they're not supposed to enter, technically. But they don't know that, right? So Gray is the main character, Preach is the secondary, and Dunk is the third, and everybody is gonna wind up screaming, let me flip out of here. Which is why the book is called Let Me Out. Is there anything left to say? Go get the book. It's coming out tomorrow, July 31st. Tomorrow you need to go and get that, snatch that. It's exclusively on Amazon. Go ahead and snatch that book right up because you're gonna love this book horror it's a mix of horror and and urban and it's a mix it's, you're gonna like it you're gonna like it i love writing it how long did it take me to write this book i forgot i honestly normally i do keep up with how long it takes me to write books i don't know i forgot it's been written though who's my favorite character my favorite character is honestly preach i like preach where did i get the idea for the book from Well, we were in the bathroom. My husband and I were in the bathroom. And um, he started talking about a certain scenario. And I went with that scenario. A conversation. A conversation I had with my husband. And then he said something. Then I was like, oh, that'd be a good idea. And then I was like, boom. Let me out was born. This is a conversation. Beware when you talk to an author because anything you say can and will be held against you and put in my book. Will there be a sequel? There's gonna be a spinoff. I have to say that there's gonna be a spinoff. I'm already I'm already writing on the spinoff. There's gonna be a spinoff. It's actually not a sequel, but there's gonna be a spin-off. So it's not actually a sequel. It's gonna be a spin-off. So when you read this book, it's a standalone book. But you'll see what I'm saying when I say spin-off when you read the book. It's not gonna deal with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like a spin-off. It's gonna be a spin-off. So this is a standalone. Is it an African American horror? Well, it's a horror with African American characters, yes. So it's a horror with African-American characters. You also have um, extra characters who are who are multicultural, multiracial, um, biracial, everything. You have you have the whole nine, but the main characters are African-American. 
so it's an african-american horror you could say it's a horror all the way thriller horror um even mystery at the same time but it's mainly horror i really get into the gut and gore things if you know what i mean it's on amazon go get it right 